review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap. Show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang ling hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review, so we're gonna party all night. Alright, what's going on guys and gals, and we are back for another fight edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you tonight is the return of a brew. Return of a brew? That's right. So tonight, we have the return of Shock Top. What? Yeah, and you can see the bottle has slightly changed a little bit. I believe we did this within the first ten of episodes um, ever. Yeah. Now, this is real neat with the cap, and I don't remember this the first time around. It has arrows showing you how to turn the cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For those of you that don't know how to turn the cap. You'll see how in a little bit. You'll, you'll see the uh, the arrows. So yeah, we'll uh, do the rotisserie of the bottle. But the packaging was, I would say, refreshed. Maybe. I haven't seen um, Shock Top, but I guess we'll see here in a minute. But I'll take you down here. So there's a reason why we're doing a return here. Oh, yes, not only gentlemen. Not only do we do a return, but we're going to do... Can versus bottle. Wait, what? Shock tops in cans? It is now. I've always thought that they were in bottles. So, so yeah, so it's kind of weird. The cans come in a 15 pack. It's a weird quantity. Wow, 15. Yeah. Like, who else sells their beers in 15s? Yeah, really. It's not like you go out and say, like, yeah, I picked me up a 15 pack. But it's it's the usual, just like the bottle. It's, it's in a can. You know, you got your typical wide mouth, you know, all that good stuff. So, so yeah, I gotta look at the uh, the bottle here and see. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like the new color. Well, okay, the shade the the shades that the orange is wearing is kind of a cool idea because it has a little reflective look to it. But other than that, I don't like the. It's just too plain for me. Because if you turn around, dog, and grab uh, just one of the shock tops right there at the uh, the front, right there in the middle shelf. Uh, middle shelf, right in front. Right, right in front. Go to your left. To your left. To my left. To, to the shock. It does, it's probably not the shock top orange, but a shock top. The first one we did has got to, has got to be on the top. It probably is somewhere. It's buried. It's buried, but we'll just that 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 one you have is fine. It, it's gonna prove my point. All right. Thank you. Back in the day, we did honey bourbon cast wheat. That was great stuff, by the way. Yeah. But look. Look how detailed it is. Look how colorful it is. It has the wheat and it has honey and it has... The Does it have the how to twist the cap off? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Compared to this, it's orange. Orange, you're glad I didn't say banana. It's got an orange. It's got reflective stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the glasses do reflect. I didn't see that before. Yeah, so... That's let me, cool. Let me put that one back. Uh, I'm not saying Shock Top is bad. It's just it's kind of boring. Oh, that's right. This this section here was a Shock Top run, I do believe. Yeah, because that had chocolate weast, which is one of my all-time favorites. They don't even make <coughs> it anymore. Uh, so, all right. Already, I'm going to say point goes to the bottle because they have the reflective glasses, and the can does not. Huh. So this one's a little bit more eye-catching, as far as boring labels go. Um, no, I've never thought that Shock Top was a belt in a can. Belgian style weast ale brewed with citrus peels and coriander. Good old Shock Top back in the day when we went to this for something to drink, because all we were doing is IPAs and stouts and porters. <laughs> they sucked. We thought this was a blessing in disguise. So, as usual, as tradition, we're going to do the opening of the can and cap test, the drink test, draft test, the body and head test, and for the first time in a long time, the comparison test. The comparison test. So, without further ado, do you want to do the bottle or the can? I'm going to do the bottle. Okay. I'm going to follow the... I'll uh, have it in the can. I'm going to follow the instructions. No, I'm going to go against the instructions because this is going to be another test. 
the uh, the arrows are pointing in a counterclockwise. I'm gonna go clockwise and see what happens. Wow. I can't open it clockwise. Huh. That's a point. <laughs> well, they're honest. They are honest because I was turning it the wrong way and it wouldn't open. So, point goes for all the people that have low intelligence who will not be able to get this open. Or they're too drunk. Or they're too drunk. Smells like, um, nothing, really. Smells like the can. Yeah, there's really no difference as far as that, so. I will have a delicious Shock Top Belgian White in the bottle, and Dog's gonna have his in the can. Yeah, Shock Top Belgian White in the can. Let's try it. Cheers, Cheers. bitches. Links below to all their talk Shock Top episodes. Shock Top. Not Talk Shock. Talk Shop. Talk, talk Shop. shop. 6.90 a.m. Let's talk shop about Shock Top. And we didn't have it. We don't have an orange either. Shit, we keep saying that every time we have one of these Belgian whites. We think, oh, we're gonna go ahead and get an orange, but we never do. Doesn't really change anything. It's a Belgian white. It tastes very weedy. Tastes um, tastes like weedies. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it's refreshing like um, your Bush Apples or any of your other lighter beers, but. It has a good flavor to it. All right, we'll keep pair here. We're gonna swig of that, and I'm gonna, I'm now gonna take it in the can and have some shock top. Okay, shock top, Belgian white in the bottle. Let's try it. Flare burst. Flare burst. I really don't taste much difference. There isn't. There is no difference between bottle and can. So, really, again, what this comes down to is economy. Because we're not going with taste here. We're going for economy. Yes, and it is, it is decently priced. So, But why do they do the odd 15-pack with these? That's I what I want to know. I don't know. know. Do they do, like, the 12-pack bottles? Well, to be... Well, when I was at the beer store, I tried to look for a 12-pack of it, and they didn't have it. You had to buy it only in... You're going to get it in six packs in the bottles and 15 packs in cans. So, I'm going to go with... I mean, maybe they do sell it in 12 packs in the bottles, but I haven't seen it. Or I'm going to say then that the can would be more of a cost effective. Because let's say you can get this in a 12 pack, yeah. but you can get this in a 15 pack. This is what? Um, eight? I think they're both 12. 12? Yeah, like a typical can like that would be twelve. Yeah, this yeah, this, this is twelve full. Uh, I don't see it on here, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and say twelve. I mean, so, it's your typical soda can. So, like size wise, there's no real difference. Well, I guess there would. This be. has more girth. <laughs> it does have more girth. And this has more length. So depends. Ladies, on... Ladies, choose your option. Depends on what you want. Do you go for length, or do you go for Girth. It's eleven inches around. <laughs> and just Steve Stifler. Just speaking for for other women out there, they tend to go for girth more than length. But that's just just something I heard. If they go for girth and they're not careful, they're going to end up giving birth. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> rhyme. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sorry. So we're going to go ahead and pour this. Beat the devil out of it, as Bob Ross would say. <laughs> Just beat the devil out of it. Uh, no, no sediment at all, unfortunately. But that's not a bad, uh, bad thing. Yeah, a little bit. Of, yeah, there is a piece of sediment in there. Is there. Just a little bit. Just one little white piece. So then that must be either the orange peel or coriander. Let's just hope someone didn't like. Jizz in it? Yeah, rub one off in it. They shock topped our shock top. They yeah, they shocked their top in our you shock top. You sons of bitches! If if you're the ones out there that shock topped our shock top, fuck you. 
Fuck well, you right they, in the ear. Well, they were fucking their hand. We're just going to pour this. Because there's really no difference in either way. So I don't think pouring it in a glass is going to be any different. So we're just going to go ahead and finish this up. Oh, there is more sediment in there. That was from the bottle, though. So maybe the bottle has more sediment than the can. There, yeah, that, that, you know, that's true. There's really no way to prove the theory because now it's all mixed together. Mm -hmm. Actually, the theory could have been this. We could have poured it from the can, drank it all, and then poured the bottle, and you know what I mean? Yeah, it's uh, it, Oh, whatever. well, I, I screwed it up then. I'm sorry. Uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Doesn't say how much. What? Is there a buy volume on this? Like an ABV. Yeah. Well, what's the rule? Like, if it's below 5%, they don't have to list yeah, it. Is that so, it? Yeah. Well, like, Yingling never lists theirs unless it's higher than 5. So, yeah, below 5 or above 5. What is it? Above 5. Yeah. You don't have to do anything with it. Or, no, below 5. I don't know. Fuck me. <laughs> I can't think right now. It's Ashley's job. Yeah. Uh, so, a ruling. Don't you spit your cap off of me. Well, I remember, like, the first, like, when we first did Shock Top, we actually ranked it pretty good. Uh, yeah, I like Shock Top. Yeah, same um, here. I remember being a little more... It, it's kind of weird. Like, I, I noticed, like, you're kind of busting on it a lot more this time around. Well, no, I, I remember being more citrusy. But that could just be me. I'm only busting on the fact that it just looks so plain well, Jane. Kind of a theory, though. Maybe they changed the recipe to it since we did the last review on it. Possibly. Um, no, I mean, me busting on it is just me being, uh, I guess you could say, petty. Because uh, I liked the the original design of it. So it's kind of, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like what Trogues did. Right. I'm be, I'm nitpicking <clears throat> what it looks like, not for what it tastes like. I don't think it, the taste has changed at all. But if we're going strictly by, like, what what is better, bottle versus can? They both taste the exact same. I would say it's the same either way. That's my opinion. So I have to give the advantage here to, again, the economy side of it. You get 15 cans in a pack. As opposed to 12. Right. So you're getting three more beers than what you would do if you bought bottles. Unless you're just really die hard on bottles. Now, I, now, I didn't see a 12 pack there where they were selling the 6s and the 15s. Right. But if you were to do the math, so you would pay about the same for two 6 packs as you would a 15 pack of cans. So I see your point. Mm -hmm. I get it. Plus, you can recycle the can and earn a little extra money. Yeah, and if they only sell this in Sixers, you buy how many to match this? Oh, and another advantage to cans, and that's with any beer, you can fit more in your fridge if you have lim limited room. Absolutely. Plus, it's just fun if you're at a party with a bunch of people and you've been drinking a lot to take a can and smash the shit out of it. For some reason, that's just so much fun. You can't do that with a bottle. Yeah, you take it... Uh, I'm yeah, gonna, yeah, I'm you're, you're like, ah, and smash it upside your head. But you can't do that with a bottle, because then you got to clean the No, me, up. I'll end up bleeding out the forehead, and everyone's going to laugh at me. Yeah, don't do that, because you smash a bottle, people are going to yell at you, and then you have to clean that shit up. Cans? You know, don't worry about it. So, um... Ratings. Taste ratings! I think we'll go ahead. I'll give it a four. I don't know what I gave it last time. I'll give it a four this time. It's all right. Whatever I rated it last time, that's what it is now. Just go back and watch the episode in the link. Right. No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give it a good solid four. Four. It's okay. It's good. I drink it if it had an and orange. I, yeah, and I, I, I buy it, so I like it. Uh, again, we should. So had I bought orange. the six of this and the fifteen of this. So that tells you something, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, but whoever wins this battle, I gotta give the advantage to Cam. Because, yeah, normally the bottles have the advantage, yeah. and, and it's because of taste. It, yeah, it doesn't taste any different. But i got to give the edge to cans, because as you said, you can fit more in your fridge, and it's a, an economy thing. You can buy 15 as opposed to 6 or 12, however they And say. it's also a cheap way to get away from your daily drinker if you want something a little different for once. Yeah, this is what you call an after-work beer. If you don't want something really heavy and really alcohol after work... And a grilling beer. Yeah, drink one of these after work and 
you know, kind of chill out. Drink so one or two or maybe six. If you, if you feel like it. Depending I, on how stressed you are. I ain't going to judge you. So, yeah. Just don't go anywhere afterwards. Don't, don't try it. Don't try it. So, yeah, our second review on Shock Top, and of course, Cam vs. Bottle, yeah, we rated it good. Just, why did you dumb down on the packaging? Yeah, I don't get it. Is it just, you felt like it, or what? Um, <laughs> Jesus. That Cyclops burp. The Cyclops burp? What a, yeah, that monstery type bird. Oh, the uh, yeah. 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 All right, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode featuring the return of Shock Top and Can vs. Bottle. So it's been a while since we've done segments like this. We figured we'd bring it back. So, and it looks like they're humping. Let's, that was the can having victory sex on the bottle. Looks more like he was pooping on the bottle. He may have been doing that. Maybe the bottle's into that type of thing. All right, I'm just going to fucking shut it off right now. We don't judge. We'll see.